Okay, go, go to play somewhere else. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, very nice. Good, good. Are you ready for your life skill training? Yes. What's a life skill? It's a new ability. Uh-huh. So I told you the first day, English is not a subject. English is a life skill. English can change your life. Yeah. English yeah. can save your life. Right? All right, okay. let's begin. Uh, what's today's date? Today is July. July 21. 20, 20, 20, 20. 21 or 21st? 21st. 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 Yes. Why 21st? Because it's an it's ordinary, ordinary number. number. Excellent. Because in English, every day is ordinal. Every day mm -hmm. is ordinal. So you can say 21 and people still understand, but the real word is uh, 21st. Got it? All right. So. Do you remember the topics that we covered uh, last night? Yeah, yes. about second, second conditional. conditional. Okay, what is the function of the second conditional? If the, if we talk about the the cell, the cell, the cell, the cell. Talk it's about this. hypothetical. Hypothetical, yes. Hypothetical. Situations. Okay. Situations. Yes. Okay, now what is the meaning of hypothetical? Something that is not true. Something that is not true. Something that might happen. Might happen. Possibly happens. Yep. Right? So how do you say si yo escribiera en inglés? If I wrote in English. If I wrote in English. How do you say si yo hablara con el vecino? If, if I, I spoke, 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 spoke with my neighbor, with my neighbor, with my neighbor. neighbor. exactly. How do you say si yo viera más fuerte? If, 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 if it rained rain harder. Rain harder, harder, okay. okay. If, if rain it rained harder. harder, very good. Harder. Now, how do you say si yo no tuviera paciencia? If I didn't, if I didn't have, if I didn't have patient. Good. Patient. Si yo no bebiera agua. If I didn't, if I didn't drink water. If I didn't drink water. How do you say riñones in English? Kidneys. 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 How do you say riñones? Lungs. 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 Uh huh. Lengua. Tongue. Tongue. Nariz. Nose. Nose. Ojos. Eyes. 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 Orejas. Ears. 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 Hombros. Shoulders. Shoulders. Codos. Elbow. 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 Puño. How do you say wrist? Okay, wrist? this is your wrist, la muñeca. Ah, okay. But if you want to say puño, um, you say fist. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, acuérdese cómo se dice primero, first. first. Quite de la R y automáticamente se está diciendo puño, fist. Iron fist. Iron fist. <laughs> Iron fist, exactly. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so nice, nice. Remember, you use the second conditional very often, very, very often, especially when you are not happy about something. Si cambiaran el cable, si mi casa fuera más grande, si mi supervisor fuera más paciente. So, nunca estamos completamente contentos en la casa, en la universidad, en el trabajo, y siempre deseamos algo. So, anyways, do you have any questions or comments? 
you're digesting um, the topics very well. So congratulations, keep it up. All right, so let's Teacher. talk, yeah. Teacher, excuse me, yeah. I go in with my, my daughter's name. I, I, my, we into the class with my daughter's name uh, because i using the computer. Oh, computer. oh okay, don't name. worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay. You will be Claudia for today, don't worry. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, good. Um, so let's talk about something different. Um, do you remember countables and non-countables? Yes. yes. Can you mention yes. examples of countables? House, building, cars, desk, pencil, eraser, eraser, watch. Okay. Watch, computers, tables, aspirins, uh, watches, controls. Those are examples of countables. Now, can you give me examples of non countables? Water, water, water meal, milk, corn, milk um, pollution, oil, pollution air, air, traffic, traffic, air. corruption. Milk. Yes. Milk. How do you say aceite in English? Oil. 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 How do you say tierra in English? Soil. 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 Excellent. Very good. So all those are examples of non-countables. So let me show you something. When you're using um, countables, let me show you this. All right, can you see my document? Yes. yes. What's the name? Yes. Others of quantity. Of quantity. Others of quantity, excellent. So you say there are too many cars. If you're using countables, you will say too many cars. If you're saying non-countables, you will say there is too much traffic. Too much traffic. Right? Too yes. many and too much, they have exactly the same idea. The difference is that you say too many with countables and you will say too much with non-countables. Got it? Yes. Okay. So here we say, hay demasiados carros. And then you say, hay demasiado tráfico. Second example, there should be fewer cars. Deberían haber menos carros. And then on the other side, you have, there should be less pollution. So if you want to indicate menos with countable nouns, you have to say fewer. If you want to say menos with non-countables, then you have to say less. Got it? So if you want to increase the number of countables, you will say more. If you want to increase the quantity of non-countables, you also say more, yeah. right? Once again, countables, you will say aren't enough. Yeah. Non-countables, you have to say isn't, isn't enough. Any questions? How do you say no hay amor entre ellos? Yeah. There isn't, there isn't there, love there are. between them. No, there isn't love between them. Between right. Them. Now, love, can you count love? No. No, no you cannot. So you're there supposed isn't. to say there isn't. There isn't love. Okay. So, any questions? No. Questions or comments? All right, let me show you another slide. It's this one here. Can you see the yellow uh, papers? Yes. Okay, yes. volunteer to read the first paper. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? 
Excellent. Another volunteer for the second paper. Are there Hi. enough police officers in your city? Excellent. Another volunteer for the third paper. Are there many buses in your city? Excellent. Someone else? Last one? Is there, Is there too much police in your city? Okay, good. So this is our first activity. I'm gonna put you working in pairs and you have to give complete answers to this. Are the questions clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me create the rooms, add a room, start talking, improve your fluency, let's go.
I can hear you. Uh, before did you have, uh, I don't know if, if did you have a uh, work? No, I don't have a work. Only a uh, work, uh, a job. Uh, Karna. Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, teacher, how do you say darle prioridad? Give priority. Give priority. You have to... Gestor? Gestor de tráfico, no policía de tráfico? Uh, you can say a traffic officer. Traffic. Yeah. And then the difference is that gestores, they don't have a gun. They cannot give you tickets. Okay. okay. Right? But in our case, the uh, the traffic uh, or the, the traffic officer uh -huh. uh, never give a ticket. Exactly, they cannot give you tickets. Yeah, only try to to force some exactly order the traffic. Right, right. Okay. We talk about the traffic officers sometimes cause more traffic. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> Give priority to main priority. street. Priority to the main street. Right. Yes. And yes. cause traffic to how do you say suburbia, colonia? Uh, yeah, okay. suburbs, okay. neighborhoods. Yeah. It cause more traffic in neighborhoods. Yeah. Where do you live, Ailey? In Amatepe. Okay, near Credisa. Yeah. Okay. In the traffic uh, in Hospital Amatepec is awful. Difficult, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever use um, the other street that takes you to San Jacinto? Yes, yeah, Santa Marta. Yeah, but, Santa Marta, Santa Marta. But it's, for me, it's more... Um, it's farther? Fast. Fast. Faster, faster. Fast, it's faster for Boulevard del Ejército and... Not Santa I Marta, uh-huh. I'm go, um, how do I you go say? to... Ando, no, ando en motocicleta. I ride I a use, motorcycle. I ride a motorcycle. Good. I admire the ladies that ride motorcycles. Uh, okay. They're very <laughs> brave. They're very brave. Yes. Because I know men that it, because I ride a motorcycle too, and I ask some men, "Do you have you ever ridden a motorcycle?" No, I'm scared, you know. And and uh, <laughs> but ladies, I see some ladies very, you know, they're very brave. There are many ladies, right? Nowadays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many cylinders does your motorcycle have? Uh, 115. 115, okay. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a small it's bike. It's a scooter, yes. Oh, like scooter. Like a scooter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my first bicycle, well, my first motorcycle was a scooter too, like uh, <laughs> like six years ago or seven years ago. Wow, it's easier. Yeah, it, it's, it's not complicated. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. All right, Thank good. You. And the non count nouns are for things that you can easily count, like uh, traffic, pollution, uh, transportation. Hello, Felix. Hello, Yvette. Hello, Hello T shirt. Did you teach today, Felix? Did you teach it's... today? No, no, no. When do you start? Uh, I started yesterday and I only give a teach on Tuesday and Thursday. Oh, twice a week? Yes. Okay. How many students do you have in each class? Uh, only, only have 15, 
15 students. Oh, 15. That's a small an, group. Yeah. In another class, I, I have uh, 15 students, Good. 40 students, or, or small groups. 100 students. Yeah. 100? Now, 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 now how I'm in a small, a small group. In another group, I, I have uh, 100 students because it's unlike the university, the university because they don't pay so much. Another teacher put um, everybody in one class, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Their their choice of uh, one one topic and and everybody are in this class, for example. Right. Yeah. 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 Th those classes are common when the with subjects that have uh, different careers. Different careers. Materias comunes. Right? In my class? Yeah, because when you have 100 students, usually the students ah, are yes. from different careers. Yes, for example, business administration and contadores. Yeah, accountants. Or, or a student marketing. Right, right. Yeah, all the uh, subjects related with numbers. Yes, because, because there are um, similar topics, for example. For it example, uh, uh, pre-specialization. The pre-specialization. The pre-specialization on finals uh, have topics similar, similar topics. Right, right. Okay. What about you, Yvette? How was your day? My day. Is... Did you work today? Productive. Productive in my, Productive in my job. Good. Where do you work, Yvette? I work in ISR. Uh, I. Uh, what is what? What is that? Oh, IRS. 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 Good. Okay. Uh, we have um. Uh, several people from IRS in, in Inglés Corporativo. Yeah, we have several yes, people. Uh, I used to teach in Ministerio de Hacienda like uh, like 12 years ago. I used to go there from Escuela Americana many years ago. Yep. Okay, let me visit another classroom. <laughs> you can write here. Finish almost at six thirty p.m. So much uh, time. You work too much. Yes. Yes. No. yes today and yesterday. I worked too much yesterday, huh? but today I worked uh, okay. extra. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Did you work extra today? No, I worked uh, uh, too many. No, too many today. Is correct like that? <laughs> okay, I worked too much today. Ah. Uh, I work too much today. No, I work she too doesn't. much yesterday. Oh, okay. Yesterday. All right. And today I didn't work too much. <laughs> right. Okay. Good, good. Is it raining where you are, Carla? Yes, right now I'm in the in the in the street. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because uh, right now I'm coming to my house. Good, good, okay. very good. Ooh. Thank God that you're back in your house. Yes. yes, because it was raining too much. Okay, good, good. How was your day, Sylvia? My day was okay. What's okay. good? Okay, and you, Yolanda? Today was a very hard day. I have much. <laughs> okay. 
Now, do you have certain days that are busier than others? Or is every day basically the same? No, there are some days busier than others. Okay, all right. Okay, good. All right, nice saying hello to you. Let me visit another room. And then we okay. go back to the main session. Okay, thank See you. See you later. See you. It's like a book. George, Lorraine, and Jenny, how are you today? Well, I'm um, class in school with a question. We have a sentence that says, we need more public transportation. If I can change that sentence to a question, I could say, do we need more public transportation? Is it okay? Sure, sure. Okay. Yeah. Because we don't have the verb to be. And I can translate is or, or to the Yes, game. you can transfer from verb to be to simple present, which is do and does. Do we need more public transportation? Right. Okay. Oh. Yes, you can. Okay. How is how is public transportation in your neighborhood? Is okay. there public transportation? There are, yeah, it's good. There, there are a lot of buses. In, in my case, is teacher. In your case, Jenny, you said something? Yes, in, in my neighborhood is okay, but I take every day a uh, personal transportation. Uh, you mean for my private work. transportation? Private yes, transportation? Yes, every day for my work. Okay, and do they bring you back when you finish working? Or only in the I morning? Me. In morning, in... The, Do you work for the government? I, maybe. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's private, private. 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 So <laughs> it's an, it's an yes. extra benefit from your job. Yes, it's exactly. It's an extra benefit uh, for for big um for this i i love my job good, <laughs> because good. i don't pay, because i don't pay the transportation exactly, every day exactly uh, yes. plus you're safe yeah. yes yes it's safe because um for the zona for this from uh -huh. we have seven bus seven buses uh, Yes, um, two two person, uh, only two person in the um, uh -huh. yeah, come uh, only two people in each seat. Yes, yes. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, because public transportation. They say dos y trebe, dos y trebe, and the space yes. is maybe only for, yes. for a two lot of people, people maximum. Yeah. Yes, a lot of people in the stand up. Exactly. For, Pushing for you. To the door. Or, or, or sometimes people don't take showers or they don't change every day. Yes. yes. That's a good. Yes, George. <laughs> Yeah, they smell well, funny. The people went, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they smell funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the main session. I couldn't see it. Okay. People Hello, are... people. How you doing? Fine. You guys finished? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Where is everyone else? All right. Any questions or comments about traffic? Pollution, corruption, anything? No? No. Okay. 
So how do you say no hay agua? There isn't water. There isn't water. Good. How do you say hay alguien afuera? There is, there is somebody there is someone outside. There is someone outside. There is somebody outside, there is somebody outside right? Somebody outside. Okay. How do you say hay 14 departamentos en El Salvador? There are 14. 14 what? Departments. No, it's not departments. State. States. 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 Yes. There are 14 states in El Salvador. You use the word departments to talk about the different parts in a company. Yes. Accounting, human resources, um, security. The, those are departments, right? Or places. Okay. Or nice. places. Like if you go to Simang, which department do you want to visit? The children's department, men's department, jewelry. And how about the residents? Uh, what do you mean the residents? I, I don't know. Uh, viviendas? Houses? Houses? In oh, I live in a department. Okay, it's a state. No, a state. Apartment. apartment. Apartments. 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 Yeah. Department, yeah, yeah. you're talking about sections. Yeah. Right? You're right. How do you say había un accidente? Había. That's past tense. There was, there was, there was, a, there was an accident. accident. There, there was, was an accident. accident. Okay. How do you say habían dos chicas afuera? There were two girls. Two girls. girls. Okay. Remember, remember, it's not there were. It's there were. There were. Let, let me put it in the chat. There were. Okay. How do you pronounce that? Where. Where. And how do you pronounce the other one? Were. Were. Very good. Where were. Where were. Uh -huh. So they look the same. They look similar. Especially because. Um, okay. In English. In English. In English. Right. So where were. Where were. Okay. So, where were? How do you say? Where were you? 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 So you're not supposed to say where were you because you're repeating the same word. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Okay. All right. So, había un accidente. There was an accident. How do you say, va a haber un concierto? There will be an, a concert. There will be a concert. Very good. There will be a concert. How do you say, no habrán tickets? There no will be. There will not. There will Okay. One. Okay. Listen. 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 Remember, when you're using the language, it's recommended that you use contractions. Why? Because gringos they use contractions all the time. So he said, I don't like to use contractions. Perfect. Fine. But the problem is, if you don't use contractions when you're speaking with a gringo, you will not understand what he or she's telling you. So you have to be ready for a real life situation. So what is the contraction of will not? One. One. Won't. So you should say, there won't be any tickets. There won't be any tickets. Mm -hmm. Right? Questions? 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 Not questions. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, someone was telling me something. Teacher. Who was saying, yeah, yes, George. Uh, can you repeat the, the sentence? There won't. Oh, there won't be any tickets. Can you go ahead, please? Sure, teach sure, right now. There won't be any tickets. Any tickets. No van a haber tickets. Now, won't, W-O-N, apostrophe T, is the contraction of will not. So you can perfectly say there will not be any tickets. There will not be a concert. There will not be anybody there. But gringos, they don't usually say will not. They usually say won't. So you should say there won't be any tickets. There won't be anybody. There won't be a concert. Questions or comments? No. Okay. Do you know your house really well? Or your apartment? Do you know the place where you yes. live well? Okay. Yes, I do. Yes. Imagine, how do you say vacío in English? Empty. 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 Imagine empty. that your house is empty. Okay. You're renting your house, you're renting your apartment. Right? So somebody calls you and they ask you, I need information about the house you're renting. What information will you give? How many rooms there are? How many bathrooms? Uh huh. How many floors? Uh huh. So, and also, yeah, go ahead. And also, if the house have garage. Okay. Pregúnteme si hay garage aquí. Is, is, are there, is, there in your is there a garage? House. Is there a garage in your No, house? there isn't. Pregúnteme cuántos pisos hay acá. How many, How many floors, floors is, are there? Are there. Are there. How many are floors there. are there? There are two floors. Okay. Pregúnteme How many bathrooms? Hay. There are two How bathrooms. Many? There are oh. two bathrooms. Okay. Okay. How many rooms? How many rooms? How many rooms are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? Are there? Uh -huh. How do you say no hay transporte público? There, there, is, there is no there is in public. Traffic. There is public transportation. There isn't public transportation. Is in public transportation. Okay. okay. How do you say hay un patio pequeño? There is a small patio. A small patio. 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 the difference between a yard and patio? Okay, can somebody answer? What's the difference between yard and patio? Paris when, when there is the side. Sylvia? A jar is when there are um, uh, grama. Grass, plants. Grass. Yes. Uh -huh. And is when there, there are grass. Exactly. So patio is usually cement or concrete. Yard, like Sylvia says, is when there is grass. It's usually green. Uh, okay. Yep. And the word is exactly the same like in Spanish, patio. But you don't say there is a patio. You don't say patio, you say patio. Patio. Right? So I have a yard. Right. I wish I had a yard. In my house, there is a small patio. Small patio. Okay. Yep. Questions or comments? Okay, how do you say inquilino in English? You say tenant. Tenant. Tenant, tenant means tenant. 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 Landlord is the owner of the house. Got it? Is what? 
is the owner of the house. The house. The owner of the house. Okay. Okay, remember, si tiene un televisor cerca, bájele volumen porque estamos oyendo toda la, toda la novela, estamos oyendo. Okay, any questions? Ahorita vamos a hacer el ejercicio. You will describe your house. Okay. You will describe your house. It should be easy because you know your house, you know your apartment, like the palm of your hand, right? Yes. Right. So you know exactly how many rooms, how many bedrooms, is there a garage, is there a patio, blah, 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 public transportation, is there water 24 hours, uh, are there any problematic uh, neighbors? So let me see this here. Hmm. It's a popper. So popper, exactly. Yes, it's a popper. You say, what channel are you watching there? <laughs> <laughs> I will put the same, uh, the same channel on television. All right, here we go. Describe your house, please. There is, there are. There isn't, there aren't. Go ahead. Okay.
Teacher. Yes, Tanya. I have problems with my internet, I think, because uh, I don't know how to say. You, you disconnected? Say. Yes, yes. Okay, give me a second. Uh -huh. okay. I will send you to room three. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Para lavar los trastes. To dish the, the, the. To wash the dishes. Yes, to wash the dishes. Okay. What else? What else, Felix? I, what I, else? I, ha I, I have to go down, down style to wash the dishes. And it's so difficult for me. Yeah, that is the reason. Mm. Uh huh. Mm, the reason why I buy. What I do you buy? Dishes. Okay. All right. Good. Plastic dishes to buy plastic dishes. Good. Good. <laughs> All right. Nice. Because it's so boring to dish the to wash the dishes. Right, right. Okay. But wash the dishes is fun because it's the moment fun. you can <laughs> yeah. it's the moment I don't think it's fun. you can Saira is so think. fun. <laughs> yeah, washing dishes, I don't think it's fun. Who can say that the wash the dishes is so fun? Because it's the moment when you can think. A lot of things, <laughs> like I guess, for example, in the life or whatever thing. Yeah, it's true. It's moment for re reflection. Yeah, for reflection. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. Flower. Hi. How are Hi. you, Flower? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Good. All right. You you ladies finished talking already? Yes. No, we are talking about houses and villas. Okay. Yep. Yeah. In El Salvador, we have ciudades, cantones, valles. Uh, what else? How do you say pueblito, teacher? Towns. Town. Ah, town. Sylvia town. lives in, the, in a town. Uh, Sylvia, what town do you live? What town? In San Lorenzo, teacher. Oh, San Vicente. No, San Lorenzo. What what Chapa? Chapa. Oh, what Chapa? because there is another San Lorenzo in San Vicente, too. Yes, yes, you are right. Oh, okay. Is San Lorenzo near uh, Barra de Santiago? No. No, no, San Lorenzo. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. San Lorenzo is next to Guatemala. Oh. And it's near oh. oh, I know Atikisaya. Okay. Yes. Um, seven kilometers from the so border. Far. Uh, yes. No, to the border is one kilometer. Really? Oh my God. Yes. So you see Quetzales every day? Every day. <laughs> nice. Good, good. Okay, let's return to the main session. Okay. okay. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No, teacher. No? So, no. so thank you very much for your precious time. Uh, we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Have a good, good night. night. Bye. 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 Bye.